Let our breath start to flow. And notice where the breath wants to go today. Maybe it's more toward the belly. That's a good, comfortable, deep breath today. Maybe it just naturally wants to go into the rib cage. Just let it flow wherever the natural spot is, but try to make it just a hair deeper than normal. Interesting looking at the chemistry of the body from sleep to awake. One of the things that changes is the type of breath that we take. The sleeping breath is very much focused on that exhale, that long, long release. And when we're awake, in order to keep ourselves more energized, we use a little bit more oxygen. So we focus more on this inhale. And so it's fun to play with the breath through different times of the day. Maybe if you start to get sleepy in the early afternoon, maybe you try to play with, with that little breath focusing on the inhale. Or maybe if we're getting tired and, we, and we're having trouble falling asleep, maybe we focus on the exhale because this tricks the chemistry of our body to help it get more toward the state that we're wanting. So with this class being kind of first thing in the party, just this first chance for us to move and stretch. We're focusing especially on that nice inhale, just relaxed exhale. And that'll be the intention of our class today. It's morning, we're waking up. Let this class almost be like that first little warm beverage of the day. A lot of people drink coffee to get them energized. Well, we're doing yoga today, so let this class be like our cup of java in the morning. So we'll get to all sorts of good stretches for all over the body. And just take one more good inhale while we're here on our back. Nice exhale. Then we'll start to take the knees into the chest. A couple of gentle rocks left and right. Easing into the spots of our body that might feel a little bit tighter currently. We'll take our first gentle twist to get us started. So knees go all the way over to the left. Start to spread the arms open. Feel that upper back expanding. On breathing, noticing where the breath wants to go. Maybe the right lung feels a little bit more compressed right now. So can you breathe into other areas? Good, knees back up. Take that easy twist over to the second side. Uh -huh, the muscles of the back are starting to respond to us. Another nice inhale. Exhale, return the hips down, slide the legs long to the earth, let's stretch like a banana up overhead. Grabbing onto right wrist, scoop the shoulders off to the left. Right ankle goes over, legs to the left. Banana shape to the left. And feel how your body's responding to this. Does it want to be active, pushing against ankle and wrist connections to go a little deeper? Or is just this passive opening the best quality for right now? Good. Returning back to through to the center, 
second side, shoulders shift up to the right, and we're holding on to left wrist. Left ankle over, legs to right. Another good inhale. Exhale. Return your spine back onto the middle of the mat. From here, we're going to, going to alternate one arm and leg stretching out long. The other elbow comes into the other knee. And then we switch sides. The elbow that comes to the knee, that side stretches out. And then the other side does, does elbow to knee. So it's almost like a bug on its back. And we just kind of alternate back and forth. Same side elbow and knee. And the other. Opposite side just takes that nice stretch. If directly overhead is not working for shoulder, don't go quite as low. Just kind of be above the head. Once more each. And then curl head and knees all up into a tight little ball together. From here, legs stretch back toward the base of the mat, arms up overhead. Doesn't have to be low, higher is easier. Then curl right back in. Let's just do four more of those. Breaking out and circling around. Three. Two. And one. Good. Setting the feet down. Clasp the hands behind the head, and we're just picking the chin up to the chest. The head is heavy in our hands, so this helps to stretch the back side of the neck. Stillness for me is my personal favorite, but if you'd like to move the elbows a little bit, tilt the head left and right, that can feel really nice. Place back down, bring the arms right on the floor by your hips. Let's rise up to bridge pose. We'll go up and down three times, and then a fourth time we'll stay. So we're lifting up hips, rising up one vertebrae at a time, nice and high. And exhale, roll all the way back down, return. Two. One, up and down. And then rising up to stay. If you can clasp hands under the back, try to find that clasp. Maybe even walking shoulders under for a moment. Inhale, exhale, hands release, roll the spine back down. From here, legs go straight up to the sky. We're just muscularly holding them up for a moment and let the toes trace circles. They're tracing together, so first toes are all doing clockwise. And then when they come up, reverse counterclockwise. Helping to move into the feet. One more each. And then 
let the legs go wide. Hands can come to the inner thighs. Just resting as the legs spread open. Releasing, right ankle comes to left thigh, give it a hug. That right hip's getting kind of that first chance to open up for us. release their clasp, take it to second side up, and give that side a hug as well. more breath in. Exhale, release. Plant the feet for a moment so that we can lift up the hips. Hands are palms palm down right under the hips, so we're sitting on them. And then from here, as the legs start to slide long, we rise up, popping ourselves up on the elbows. Taking fish pose, the heart lifts, the head rocks back. If we can drop the crown of the head to barely touch the ground, we're here. Nice heart opener. Two more breaths. And exhale comes to completion. Lift the chin back up. We'll start to unwind the hands. We're coming all the way up to sit into a nice cobbler shape. Let's start with our hands behind us at first. If the fingertips are propped, this helps to push the spine up nice and tall, we're lifted. It's almost like the hips are opening like a book. So from this placement, let's take this breath, a nice energizing breath. It'll be three parts for the inhale. You just inhale and then inhale deeper and then inhale even more. And then exhale is just relaxed. So imagine this is like sipping a cup of tea or something in the morning. Let's do a few rounds of that. Maybe three more. Finish that last one. We'll start to make our way forward. If you want the feet to slide a bit further, you can notice how that affects the hips and the low back. Just ease our way nice and gentle forward. here, take your left hand to the left knee. That left arm is going to start pushing itself straight. This will bring our nose closer to the right knee. You can kind of free out your right arm to the side. Just let yourself continue leaning over toward that right knee. You can feel how half of that low back feels real good.
Right, so they'll load through the center. You'll start to switch the grip. So right hand is now on the right knee. And it's straighten that arm until we can shift our weight over left. Good. Back through the center. Take a good breath in and out when you get there. And then starting to rise up. Open this right leg up to the right side. We're going to take a few cycles going back and forth between leaning directly forward and then starting to shift our torso closer to the straight leg. So just maybe three or four times, just rock yourself back and forth. And then after that three or four times, you choose exactly where to pause. You could pause forward, you could pause over the leg. Depends on what feels tight for you right now. Rise up enough that you can switch the legs out. And then we'll pulse back and forth on this side. So coming forward and rocking slightly over. Back and forth. And after you've done three or four, try to mirror what you did on the other side. So if you went closer to the straight leg, choose that again. If you went directly forward, choose that again. And rising up, let's start to send our legs underneath us. Coming to kneeling, let's do a few nice cat cows. Or if there's other spine movements that are that would really help to wake up our vertebrae, that's awesome. Two or three more rounds of breath, whatever's working for us. Good. When the spine comes back to neutral, we'll take three rounds of just nice Mini flows starting to energize the body a bit more. So walking forward to a kneeling point, lower ourselves slowly down to the belly. Just a nice easy back bend as we super deep. And then a moment shifting back to child pose. You're welcome to pause a bit longer in the child. Whenever you feel ready for the second. Eventually the third one, just do that same thing. Really click to lower, easy back bend, and child pose. At some point, one more round, pausing in child when you finish. if you have particularly tight spots in your back.
and up to the kneeling. We'll take this right leg open to the right side. Tucking the back toes perhaps for extra balance and we come up to a nice high kneeling spot. From here, slide the right leg, the right hand down the right leg. This left arm starts to stretch up and over that good morning stretch. And we rise up, plant this left hand to your left side, taking a kneeling half moon, floating the toes for just a moment. Try to see if that right arm can float up. Good, setting it back down. If the toes got untucked, tuck the toes again. Take the left hand to the left heel, and then the right hand reaches up to the sky, and maybe continues to travel back, gentle back. Good, rising up. Hands can plant down onto the floor, you can go down to elbows. You can either stay directly forward or inch your way a little closer to the straight leg. It depends on what spot feels best for your stretch. Using our way up. Before we switch legs, let this right leg do a complete circle all the way around to the left side. When it's there, you're going to push the hips to the right. At the same time, gaze over your left shoulder to those toes. Gets us a little bit into that IT band or outer hip. Good, and then return. This knee can drop down. Good, take a cat cow or two. Fill that spine, nice and alive. You feel pretty good. Left leg up to the left. Coming up nice and high. Slide the left hand on that leg. Great, flip and over. Rising up, the right hand continues to cartwheel down, kneeling half moon. Flip that leg. And setting it back down, the half camel, right hand to right heel, hips forward, and then the free arm gets a chance to stretch up and back. Inhale, exhale, rise. Come down to hands or elbows. You want to inch closer, that's great. Back up to hands. That foot travels all the way to second side. Push the hips to the left as you gaze over the right shoulder toward the toes. Good. Coming back. We can take that kneeling plank, or maybe we lift up our knees this time. Lowering down. Nice back bend. Doesn't have to be much deeper than before if you don't want. And then if you'd like a child's for a moment, that's okay, but eventually we'll end up in, in downward facing dog. And if there's wiggles that need to happen here, introduce them into the body. So maybe the feet are wiggling out, getting into those joints. Maybe it's the hamstrings and the calves. Maybe you're trying to play with how high the hips can lift. Good. 
you get to choose when you come up to the top of the mat. Sooner or later, you'll make your way up there. Next inhale can help us rise. Good, hands to the heart. Let's drop right hand to right thigh, left hand up and over. And up. Switch it out. And up. Beautiful. Circling both arms up high. Maybe you take a slight back bend. And forward fold, drop my hands all the way down. Taking a half lift, do an inhale. Exhale, this right leg slides all the way to the back, drop that knee down. From here, leave the right hand on the floor, left hand tries to twist up to the sky. Maybe it goes directly up, maybe you can open it past 180 degrees. That nice expansion. Good, hand comes all the way back down. Walking our hands maybe up to that thigh, keep the hips sinking forward. Somehow lifting the, the torso up helps to increase that stretch on the right hip. So another good inhale. Then exhale, hips can go over the back knee, front leg goes straight, let's drop the hands down. Good hamstring stretch. down to the ground. Once it's there, we'll take warrior one, sweep the arms up to the sky. Inhale, exhale, warrior two, rotate open. Nice extended side angle, front elbow to front thigh, the other arm stretch out, stretches it forward. Rising up, keeping the front knee bent, reverse it. So left, right fingers for right calf. The other arm stretches back. Good, rising up. From here, let's cartwheel our way down toward half moon pose. So sometimes I'll shorten the stance a little bit. But ending up with that left hand to the outside of that left foot. Right hip is trying to stack, the right arm is trying to stack. Good. And it's okay if the balance is weird today. <laughs> Just try your best. One more good inhale. And exhale, drop everything into a forward fold here up at the top. Next inhale to rise. Maybe a little back bend. Mm -hmm. Hands at the heart. Good. Right hand to right thigh, left hand over. And rising up, switch it out. Good, rising up, second side. Inhale, circle up to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, long spine. And exhale, as fingers make their way down. This left foot slides to the back. Drop the knee down. At first, left hand stays down. Right hand takes that nice rotation up to the sky. Maybe continue to open the shoulders from behind. Feel almost like a little back bend, leaning into it. 
Inhale. Exhale, the hand can make its way down. Keep the hips sinking forward like this. Try to make sure knees not going past toes, otherwise toes scoot forward. And then working our hands up to the thigh. Keep the hips sinking forward. So that increase on the left hip. A nice inhale. Exhale, straighten that front leg. Drop the hands down. the right foot on the ground, pick up the back knee, rotate the back heel to the floor. We've got the legs set up, the arms reach up, warrior one. Nice inhale. And exhale, warrior two, rotating open. Keep the front knee tracking open for a pinky toe. Extended side angle, front elbow down. The other arm goes into that long stretch. And up for your two. Keep the bend of the front knee as we reverse it out. Good, rising up. Let's try our hand at that challenge, the half moon, so maybe shorten the stance a little bit. Right hand goes to the outside angle, that right foot. Okay, keep the hips stacked, maybe the top arm rises. Good. One more inhale. Exhale, feel free to drop down, forward fold. You let go of all the muscles of the back. Inhale to rise. Good. Come to the heart. Bring the big toes close together. Toes are separated a little bit. We're sitting back like we're about to go into a chair. Again, knees don't go forward or toes. Instead, knees go back. And I'll take a nice little twist for our spine. So hook the right wrist, open the left arm. Or if you'd like to slide down to elbow, bringing hands to prayer position, that's also fine. Then start to unwind. And second side, left wrist or left elbow slide into it. Good, hands to heart. One more breath in, out, and inhale to push into the ground to straighten the legs. Good, tree pose, right knee rotates open. Climb up to the thigh if that's working. Try just not to go directly on the knee. You can go above or below. Good. Float this right knee forward. Try to take left hand to the outside of that right thigh. The other arm opens up to the back door, the back wall, sorry. Spiraling the spine. Good. When we return forward, see if you can grab under the thigh. And then let's try to kick the leg straight. A little bit of muscular activation. Beautiful. Swing this leg under and through, a brief warrior three. When we land the leg, it's a brief warrior one. Sweep the arms up, inhale. 
Exhale, rotate open. And from this warrior two shape, clasp the hands behind your back. And we're going to bow forward to the top right corner of the mat. So it's that forward angle. So start to shift the hips back and then pull the arms into the shoulder stretch to that angle. Good. Drop the hands to the floor. Straighten the legs, turning the toes to this long edge of the mat. Any favorite arm position is fine. hands to floor. The right knee starts to bend. You can either be in a high lunge or a low lunge, balancing right over that heel. Good. I like to rotate the toes up if, if you're in the low lunge. Good. That keeps my knee in a good safe spot. Beautiful. Straighten through the legs to shift to the second side. Left knee bent, higher low lunge. Straighten both legs. Bend the knees. Let's roll our way back up to stand. Rotate on your heels so that you're facing toward the top of the mat, preparing for pyramid. If you need to shorten the stance, sometimes that's nice for pyramid. Hips are absolutely square. We keep hands on the hips as we start to bend forward, making sure that they're not like tilting off weird to the side, if they're staying square. And then when we get to a pretty good spot, hands can drop down, maybe to shin, maybe blocks, maybe floor. Brief balance challenge. We're going to shift our weight off to that front left foot. Our hands go forward, helping us balance. Then this right leg floats up to go towards standing split. Beautiful, one more inhale. Exhale, drop the legs, we're in that standing forward fold. Another inhale. Exhale. Inhale to rise. Hands to heart. Good. Tree pose, we're shifting our weight onto right foot, left knee rotates open. You can climb the foot higher if you like. And sometimes kickstand is all that's happening and there's nothing wrong with that. See if this left knee can start floating in front of you. We're trying to take right hand to the outside of that left thigh so that we can spiral our spine open, pointing the fingers toward the back of our mat. Good, returning forward. Put a clasp under the thigh. Bring the leg straight. Feel that good extension. And then sweeping under and through, a brief warrior three. Land warrior one, arms can sweep up. Inhale, exhale, rotate up in warrior two. Then clasping our hands behind our back, or bowing forward to that front left corner of the mat. Dropping the hands down, straighten the legs, turning the toes to this long edge. 
Maybe there's a new hand position, maybe grabbing onto ankles or reaching under and through the legs. Work the hands to the floor in front of the face. Keep the left hand there. Hips are not allowed to readjust. They stay still as the right hand begins to float. So that means it's the upper back that's taking the spiral here. Good. Drop the hand down. Switch hands. Left thumb floats. Good. Dropping down. Bend the knees. Let's roll our way up to stand. We're gonna rotate on the heels. Maybe shorten the stance, hands at the hips. We're taking pyramid. We can dive forward. Maybe when we get to that good spot, hands end up at the thigh, the shin, locks or floor. Little balance challenge towards standing split. Our weight is going to go on to front leg. The hands can go forward to help us balance. This left leg starts to flow as high as we have the strength for. Good, one more inhale. Exhale, release everything down, that forward fold. Maybe legs are straight, or maybe they're bent, dropping the torso closer to the thighs. Good, inhale, half lift. Exhale, hands drop down. You can step off your jump to play for feeling tight. Lower all the way down, Chaturanga. Little back bend. Child pose or down dog. We'll shift through to a pigeon pose. This can be done from kneeling or from this down dog. It's up to you. We'll end up either way with the right leg scooting its weight under and through. Back leg is welcome to scoop back, getting the hips a little closer to the ground. If you ever need to support the hip with a block, that's always fine. But when you're there, you're situated, you're welcome to drop down, sleeping. Take two or three rounds of that breath we did earlier, fellows breath. Three inhale segments. Long, relaxed exhale. Imagine you're sipping that warm beverage. Onto hands, purposely rock onto right hip. Swing the left leg all the way around to the front. When it's there, this left shin will be cradled out. So you can use hands, you can use wrists, you can use elbows. Give it a few good rocks, easing into anything that feels tight right there. As we start to drop this left leg down, it could be anywhere from cross leg to shin stack to knee stack. So whatever's working for your hips, make sure both sitting bones end up down, whichever you choose. And then from there, just a nice, easy forward fold.
rising up. The right arm comes across the body, the left arm hugs it in. Maybe we're tilting the head to the left so that that whole right side is in a good stretch. Good, inhale, open both arms. And then exhale, second side, pull it in. Maybe the head tilts away from the shoulder that's getting the stretch. Good, deep inhale. And then exhale, we can uncross our legs, send our weight forward and through. Transition from the second side pigeon, either through down dog or kneeling. We'll end up sooner or later with left leg right in front of us. The right leg scoots back, make sure sacrum is level before you drop down to sleeping. to rise up. Let's rock on the left hip. Swing this right leg forward. We'll cradle it out when it makes its way there. Giving it a few good rocks. When we're ready to drop it down, you've got all those options. Cross leg, shin stack, or knee stack. Traveling forward, resting down. up. Let's take another shoulder stretch. Let's take the right arm across. Maybe head to the left. Hang up, inhale. Left arm across. Maybe head to the right. Open that. Good. Take the legs out. We'll head onto our backs. I'll guide us through one last little twist that we can take together. If there's different poses that your body would like to take instead for this last minute or two, you're welcome to do that. It's giving our body that last gift before our final release. So if you're doing the twist with me, release the left leg all the way down long. Hug this right knee in. And we'll start to take the right knee into a twist to the left. Feeling how our body is so different from this final twist compared to that very first one we took at the beginning. If anybody wants to use your free right hand to grab those left toes behind your back, that's fine. Setting up a moment with a quad stretch as well. Good, release. The legs slide long as the hips are turned down. Once you're there, left knee gets hugged in. And twist it over to the right. Maybe that left hand 
grabs the, the right toes behind your back. And last inhale. Exhale, return onto your back. Again, if there's any last movements you need, go ahead and take them. If you feel complete, you're welcome to rest in your Shavasana. And just let the breath be deep and relaxed. It doesn't have to be a quick breath. Let it be slow, but deep. And maybe equal with inhale and exhale. Bringing us into that great state of balance.
going to take an egg house. And exhales. Producing little movements back to fingers and toes. Ankles and wrists. Stretching it out like we're waking up first thing in the morning. Actually taking a nice fetal position off to one side. Going two or three good deep breaths. Only rising up to a comfortable seated position when we feel ready. So here with hands at the heart, we allow ourselves to come back full circle Realizing how good and how energized the body is at this point. Gotten our day started off to a great beginning. And so we realize we have all this energy. We have all this time today. What do I want to consciously do with this time that I have? What would I like to do for myself, for my family, for the world? What would I like to include or not include? So heading forward to a slightly more conscious day with this idea to lead us on. Let's wrap up the time we got to share together this morning with the sound of OM. Deep inhale now. May we be filled with light, and happiness, and peace. Namaste. Namaste.